being being able to have enough energy to get out of bed and go to work and do the things you need to do and not be miserably dragging yourself along through the day that's performance um and then of course there's athletic stuff you know there's guys that want to be stronger they have very specific goals they're athletes they want to reach things there's people who want to be more enduring you know i i have ultra marathoners uh you know it and anything that you want to get better at you know, being a better communicator that's a performance goal that mm -hmm. requires cognition that primarily prefrontal cortex the most impacted region of your brain is the prefrontal cortex when you don't get enough sleep your body compensates by releasing stress hormones because stress hormones keep you alert in proportion to your environment you're depressed like your physiology is depressed the stress hormones ramp you up in a catabolic way so it's costly to do this but it ramps you up unfortunately it, anybody who's been in fight or flight knows you don't you don't think when you're in fight or flight it's 100 percent reactive and so the closer you get to fight or flight, the less you think. And so you yeah. impair the prefrontal cortex, um, just your ability to, you know, the, the, obviously the purpose of that is like the simulator. We can think about things we want to do and plan and figure out if that's a good idea or not. We can change our ideas. We can solve high level problems. We can put things together in a unique way. But more importantly, we communicate with our prefrontal cortex. And so mm -hmm. what you think you know, what you think my expression means might be different than what you think my words mean. And that is incredibly impaired with just a little bit of sleep deprivation.